Professor Robert P. George, the McCormick Professor of Jurisprudence at Princeton University, visited Sydney recently as keynote speaker of the John Paul II Leaders Forum. Praised by US Supreme Court Justice and former Harvard Law School Dean Eleanor Kagan as one of the nation's most respected legal theorists, he is celebrated author of 14 books and numerous articles. Given that the Queen of Australia is also Queen of other realms, I asked the professor whether Americans see countries like Australia, New Zealand and even Canada as having some sort of identity crisis. This was his answer. Well, I can tell you how Americans perceive Australians. You can do it in a single word. Australians are our allies. Americans think of Australians as fundamentally our allies, people who are on the same side, people who believe in the principles of freedom, uh, the principles of, uh, that are really at the core of, the, of, our, of our Western civilization. Uh, of course, our fighting together uh, in wars, especially the Second World War, the extraordinary valor and courage of Australian troops in the Great World Wars and in other uh, conflicts is deeply appreciated and admired uh, by Americans. We have what we call a special relationship with Britain. We fought a revolution uh, against them to gain our own independence, but there's no doubt that we have a special, re uh, a special relationship with Britain. But there's a sense in which we have a special relationship with Australia as well. We certainly think of uh, Australia as a sister nation, a democratic nation, uh, a nation with a, uh, with a, with a proud and good uh, history. Uh, we have our faults, you have your faults. But what we stand for in the world fundamentally is the idea of, uh, of, of freedom, of free institutions. Uh, of the equality and dignity of all members of the, uh, the human family, basic civil, basic civil liberties. Uh, so Americans think highly, very positively of, uh, of Australians, just as we do of our, of our, of our British uh, cousins and our Canadian uh, neighbors to the north, again, our allies in, in the great wars of this uh, past century. And we're certainly viewed as, uh, as an independent nation. Oh, yes. I think uh, I think most Americans probably would not know that the Queen is uh, sovereign uh, in uh, in Australia. Uh, they they wouldn't know whose picture is on the Australian uh, dollar. Uh, although they would be in no way scandalized uh, or offended to know of the uh, of the Queen's role. Of course, uh, uh, Americans are aware that historically Austra Australia has been. Uh, a part of the uh, mm. part of the Commonwealth of mm. uh, Nations, the British Common Commonwealth, but that Americans reg regard as a positive thing. Although we ourselves, Certainly. having fought uh, a revolution uh, against the, uh, Britain, are not and have not been historically part of the Commonwealth.